When you don't have a big budget to hang lights from big stands or cranes, you have to start to get creative with your lighting setups and do stuff that is workable within your budget. This is a scene from an experimental short film I DP'd and I knew right from the location scout we weren't able to light from the outside of these windows because our location was on the second story. Now before I explain this method, I have to give credit to the person that I got the idea from on Instagram, Olan Colody. I hope I'm not butchering his name, but I probably am. I saw he posted this method on his story and I messaged him asking him some questions about it and right away he hit me back and he gave me some answers. So that's where I got the idea for this so I can no way take credit for this being an original idea. Okay, so let me explain. A lot of the time what cinematographers will do is they'll place big lights from outside of the windows to create consistency on the inside of their locations. I wanted to create consistency in our location but I couldn't obviously get stands outside and big lights up there because like I said it was two stories high. So the first step was to black the windows using some white foam core. Now the white side was facing the inside of the windows which would help bounce the light a little bit more. The second step is we took three Astera tubes and placed them vertically on the inside of the windows which would help us give a nice even spread and the third step being placing diffusion to cover the whole windows which helps spread the light even more now the fourth step was getting the production designer Lily involved and getting her to put some shears on the window which would help spread the light even more and better sold this effect. So using this method actually gives you a ton of flexibility. Because we're using Astera tubes in this case, you can pretty much use any color. And if you're shooting like a music video or something, you can really get creative with this method. So this also gave the actress and the director a ton of flexibility because we didn't have any stands or lighting inside the room. They were all inside the windows. And from there, they were pretty much free to move around wherever in the room and I always like it better to light a room rather than lighting an individual shot because it just helps with time on set and you know you never really have a lot of time on set everything is scheduled to a T so being quick and being flexible this lighting setup really gets the job done. So if you enjoyed this video and found it useful hit the subscribe button and there will definitely be some more tips and tricks along the way. Thanks for watching.